In this video, I'm going to show you how to create artificial fog in your photography. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to take care of any other edits that you want on your design. So I played around with this. I uh, changed the exposure a little bit, up the contrast so that we have better highlights and shadows. And then I went through the adjustments and I adjusted the color of the shadows to make them a little bit more blue, to give it a somber, eerie night vibe to it. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a new layer. So down in the layers palette, there is a new icon, which uh, the new layer, whoop, the new layer looks like a piece of paper. So I'm going to click on that, and that's going to create a new layer for me uh, on top of my other layers. So we on a, a layer that we're going to work on, on, and I'm going to paint some artificial fog onto there. So what we're going to need is we're going to need a brush tool. So come over to the tool palette and select the brush tool. It looks like a uh, a little paintbrush. Then you're going to need white or something like white, depending on the design that you want. For me, I didn't choose straight white. Uh, I actually brought it in and made it into kind of like a, a more foggier uh, blue. And in fact, I think I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. Up at the top, you're going to change your opacity down. So usually it starts out at 100. I like to bring it down for something like fog to like 20. You might bring it down to even lower so that you can build up your fog slower. Usually the brush comes in this really hard circular brush, but something that works a little bit better is these, um, these sponge-like brushes. But instead of changing it just here, there's another place that we can change the properties on our brush and it's on the right side attached to our layers palette. And it is, uh, uh, it is the brush properties, BRU. So when I click on that and I select the brush that I want to work with, I like this kind of uh, fuzzy brush. You can change a couple things. This one has tip dynamic, which allows it to uh, be pressure sensitive if I'm working on a stylus. On a mouse, it only uh, does hard, so it doesn't matter. And then I put scatter on it, which um, randomizes which direction everything is flowing as I'm clicking and dragging it, which could be really good for fog. I'm going to make a very large brush so that I can paint large sections at a time. Let's see, I think that's good. Uh, I like the roundness, a high, you don't really need to change the angle that much, but you can if you want to, and you can see that tilts uh, how the fog is going, but we're gonna keep this more or less horizontal because I want my fog going horizontal. But the main thing that I wanna change is the spacing. Notice how at the bottom, it's showing an example of my brush. And if I get the spacing out more, it looks like more wisps of fog instead of being one big old large thing. So find a good balance that works for you. I kinda like around there. I'm going to close my little brush brushes, my brush properties, and we'll come back to painting. Make sure that you're on your uh, on your new layer because you don't want to paint directly onto your picture because that'll be harder to change. So I can click and drag, and I want it to look like there's fog streaming in a little bit from the side. And you can do individual little clicks, or you can click and drag, and that'll get some random uh, parts. And I think this is a little bit strong, so I'm gonna bring down the opacity even more, maybe down to, uh, we'll say 12%. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit into the back. Put a little bit near her face. And this might be still a little bit over uh, heavy handed, but that's okay. Uh, can play around with it, and if I don't like it, I can always delete that layer and then create a new layer. But I don't think that's too bad. Something else that we can do is in the layers palette, we can reduce the opacity of that layer so we can make that layer more transparent. So everything on that layer will be more transparent. So I am going to reduce the opacity a little bit so that this feels a little bit more hazy. 
that feels more realistic. So now I can go a little bit more heavy handed with my fog because overall the fog will never be more than 58% visible. So that is adding artificial fog. And you can do this in a lot of ways. You can create artificial smoke, artificial lighting, and a variety of other techniques uh, if you want to play around with the settings and colors. And then we'll come uh, always up to file, export, and export it as a JPEG so that you have a, uh, a compressed version of your image. Make sure that you export it as 100%. Otherwise, it'll look kind of poor.